I didn't really know that uh, competitive shooting was a sport until I was about 14. I was fortunate enough to get pretty good pretty quick, and I was able to make the uh, national development team in 97, so I'd only been shooting for about a year, year and a half. Uh, that kind of opened up some more doors. Um, I had access to the national coach, um, you know, was able to learn a whole lot more. Um, I was also invited to um, a national junior camp in the summer of 97, and uh, that was really instrumental in my development. The things that I learned at that camp really propelled me forward in a really positive way. I won the world championships on July 4th, and I tell you, there, that was, at that point, that was my biggest victory. I had a 596, I walked into the final in second place, two points out of first. And I remember walking into the final thinking, I can do this. It's windy, I've already had 60 shots of training, I can do this, you know, I'm gonna shoot a good final. And I felt really good about it, and I did. I shot a great final, I think it was the highest final of the eight finalists. After the 10th shot, I looked over at the big, uh, the big monitor and I saw my face up there and I said, oh, that's cool, I wonder if I won. And then after that, the scores popped up and I saw that I was in first place. And I just jumped up out of position and just raised my gun over my head and said, oh man, it was just a huge, huge uh, relief and, and just feeling of everything you can imagine that's good. Um, you know, the, all the work that I've been doing was paying off. And um, seeing the flag go up that day, and especially on, on Independence Day, that was, that was something I'll never forget, so cool. January 2004, I moved down here to Colorado uh, to prepare for the, the Athens Games. And uh, yeah, it was great. It was, uh, we did a lot of work that year. Uh, Dave and I worked you know, really hard together on improving my finals so that I could be successful, um, so that I could be tougher in competition. And uh, it worked. Uh, it was a wonderful experience. Um, you know, I think your first Olympics is something that you'll always cherish. A lot of people think that you know, they look for the Cinderella story, like, you know, hey, I can, if I train really hard for maybe a year or two, I can make the Olympic team and go to the Olympics. Well, maybe you can. Now, if you do want to take it to the highest level, there's a whole lot of work that goes into it. You know, I'm not going to, you know, joke about it or anything like that. It's fun work. It's work that I, I love to do. But it's, uh, you're going to have to make a lot of sacrifices. But at the same time, those sacrifices are worth it because the things that you get in return are going to fulfill you just as much as the things you might have to give up. But I always believe that if you want it bad enough, you can certainly do it. Just work smart and eventually, eventually dreams come true. I, I believe they do.